Hey viewers, Andrew back again and welcome to my sci-fi science fiction collection video. This is going to be done in two parts. This is part one of course and it will cover my sci-fi TV series on DVD and my DVD movies and part two will consist of all my Blu-rays that I own on sci um, sci-fi Blu-rays that I own so definitely stay tuned for that one but for now we'll get on with part one and I'll start with my TV series so first up we have Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles season one and season two great show shame they cut it short but this is a great addition to the franchise and a nice follow-up from Terminator 2 Next up we have Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 1. I love this much, much better than The Clone Wars movie. Um, great addition to the Star Wars franchise. Nice animation, pretty interesting storyline. So that's clone, Star Wars Clone Wars Season 1. I don't own Season 2, but I will be picking that up at some point. Next is Firefly. This is a phenomenal show. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. It's pretty hard to come by now. Um, real, real shame that this only lasted for one season. But yeah, this is great. It's kind of a sci-fi western mix. Um, phenomenal. Next we have Space 1999. This is a 70s sci-fi show. Um, it ran, I believe, from 75 to 77. Next up we have sort of a fun kitty cartoon. Um, two DVDs of Mega Man NT Warrior. I'm a fan of the original Mega Man games and these two DVDs were a dollar each at a bargain store. Um, they have three episodes each on them and um, Pretty fun for what they are. Next we have Voyage to the Planets. This is more of a documentary covering all the different planets. So in each episode or segment they talk about one, one of the planets. If you're a fan of outer space or planets, I'd recommend checking this one out. It's interesting. Next we have Stargate Atlantis. This is a tin set with all five seasons of Atlantis. Um, this, in my opinion, is the best Stargate. I'm a huge fan of Stargate SG-1. Didn't care for the new Stargate series. Um, and I can't even remember the name of that, actually. Um, but, um, yeah, in my opinion, Atlantis is the best of the Stargates. Next, we in my final TV series or sci-fi TV series goes to Farscape. I own all four seasons of this. This is my favorite science fiction show ever. Perfect sci-fi for me. It blends everything I love about sci-fi. Um, space exploration, coming across different planets and coming across different races and characters. Love it. Jim Henson, as always, did an amazing job with the puppetry in this. So yeah, if you haven't checked this out, um, definitely do so. It's a great 90s sci-fi series. I think this pretty much competed with Babylon 5. I think Babylon 5 is terrible. Um, yeah, I much prefer Farscape. And the next one, or the follow-up to the series, is Farscape Peacekeeper War. Okay, now on to my box sets. So the first one is the Alien and Predator box set. has all eight films. Um, great box set, but I, I only really care for the first two Alien movies and the original Predator. Great films right there. And what sci-fi collection would miss out on owning the Star Wars, both trilogies? Um, I know a lot of people don't really care for the prequel trilogy, but I think 
they're great. In fact, I like all the Star Wars. Um, I do not really care for Attack of the Clones, but pretty much everyone hates that. As for what my favourite movies are, well, it's a tie between Revenge of the Sith and Return of the Jedi. So basically, out of the two trilogies, I like the third films from each. Now on to my DVDs. The first one is Bicentennial Man, starring Robin Williams. Stargate SG-1 Children of the Gods, which is basically the pilot episode turned into a movie. Robots, fun little animated film about robots, of course. The X-Files movie, I never really got into the series, but I did enjoy this film. The Lawnmower Man. Transformers 1. Now for my 80s sci-fi, which in my opinion, the 80s era was the best for sci-fi. And first up we have Spaceballs. This is basically a comedy parody take on the sci-fi genre so you've got series like Planet of the Apes, Star Wars and Star Trek in this film. Really really fun. Next is one I never really hear or see anyone talk about or in anyone's list and that is Cocoon starring Steve Gutenberg. This is about a group of elderly residents who come across the cocoon from outer space that believe is the Fountain of Youth. Next is one of my favourites and that's Explorers. Awesome, awesome film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Next is Robocop. I thought this was okay, pretty decent. Um, not, not a big as fan as some people are, but yeah, it was decent, but it really does not hold up that well. Next we have James Cameron, original The Terminator. Great film, not my favourite in the series, um, but definitely one of the best in the series, so great film. Next we have Flight of the Navigator. This is a great 80s sort of family adventure film. I love it, I especially love the spaceship, it's awesome. Next we have a cult classic and that is Tron. Um, I really like the effects in this film. How he goes into the CPU and has to battle and play all the games. And I think it's great. Um, I haven't seen the sequel so I'm looking forward to checking that one out. But this is an absolute classic. Next we have Short Circuit 1 and Short Circuit 2. Um, Great films, I love Johnny Five, awesome robot. And the last film for this part is E.T. I love this film. A lot of people commented in some of my other videos saying they don't really think it's sci-fi. Basically what is wrong with you, this is a science fiction film in my opinion. I mean, you've got an alien coming from outer space to Earth, I mean, come on. But yeah, absolutely love this film. It's brilliant. I love the bond between E.T. and Elliot. Love this film. Well, that's it for part one. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. As always, rate and comment. Look out for part two. And thanks for watching.